Lots of luck, you two. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? So, Will, Emma, question number one is worth £100. Here it comes. Tar. Now, you probably know this one. Is an informal way of saying what? Hurry up. Thank you. Good night. Please. I think it's B, thank you. It's definitely B, yeah. Should we go for it? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go for it. It's the right answer. You've got 100 quid. <laughs> yeah, hey, what a start. <laughs> You've got 100 pounds. Have a look at question number two. It's worth 200 quid. You've got all three lifelines. What is traditionally dropped into a wishing well before making a wish? Coin. Twig. Ball. Coal. It's coin. I think it's coin. Coin. It's the right answer, £200. <laughs> You're doing all right. You look so quite well pleased. together. Emma looks so pleased when she gets an answer. <laughs> the little blue eyes are sparkling. Right. You got uh, £200. This is for 300 quid. Gretna Green, famous as the destination for eloping couples, is located in which part of the UK? Nodding wisely. Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland, England. I think it's A, Scotland. Yeah, I was thinking. Yeah. yeah. Not England? <laughs> no, because, um, <laughs> where's just the wrong answer? That's the wrong answer, please. Scotland is the right answer. You got through the quid. Sorry, I've got on it. <laughs> okay, you're, <laughs> you're two away from a guaranteed £1,000. Question number four is for 500 quid. Which of these words is another name for the Pope? Pontiff, Pontiac, Ponyard, Poncho. Emma? <laughs> what are you thinking? It's not Poncho. I don't think it's Poncho. <laughs> um. Oh dear, I don't know the answer to this. <laughs> um, oh, I really didn't want to use one of our... I think it might be Pontiff. But Emma, we can't lose this money. No, we can't. This is I saw it. the Hamiltons, it was awful, I can't do it. <laughs> everybody saw the Hamiltons. I think everybody except the Hamiltons saw the Hamiltons. I've got a feeling it's Pontiff. Yeah, let's, let's, um, should we ask the audience? I, I think we should. Yeah. What do you think? Because it would be awful if we went home that with nothing. That would be awful. You know what? I'm not going. I'm I not couldn't show my face. Here. No. No. You're not doing it. No, yeah. you're not. Right. Okay. Ask the audience. Ask the audience. Okay. Ask right. Let's make sure we get yeah. Will and Emma yeah. up to at least yeah. 500 quid. They're on 300 pounds at the moment. This is the question. On your keypads, please. Which of these words is another name for the Pope? No. Now, A on your keypads is Pontiff. <laughs> B is Pontiac. C is Ponyard. D is Poncho. A, B, C or D. All vote now. <laughs> 88 percent say Pontiff. That looks, looks like there's some intelligent people. Yeah, they look, yeah, there's they some. look intelligent. <laughs> there's some other ones. <laughs> it's your call, guys. Yep. A, A Pontiff. Pontiff. It's the right answer. Oh, You've got 500 pounds. Well played. Pontiac's a car, Poncho, you know, and a poniard actually is a little dagger. Now, 500 quid you got. Last point, you could go home with nothing. It will not happen. Be positive. You have a 50 50, you have a phone a friend. This would guarantee you at least £1,000 for the NSPCC. Here it comes. Sir Garfield Sobers played Test match cricket for which international side? West Indies, England, oh, no, hang on. Australia. South Africa. Well, now, I'm thinking, I don't know the answer, by the way, um, <laughs> but I think Sir Garfield, I don't think you get knights in the West Indies, um, or in Australia, or in South Africa. So I would like to say England, just on that fact. But again, it would be awful if we went home with no money. <laughs> it would. I think... We... Emma, why are you whispering? <laughs> Yeah, because you can all know. I was just saying, I think he's got a phone a friend that knows. I've got a phone a friend. Or we could flip the question, because I don't think 50 <gasps> oh. 50 is going to help us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's or flip we it. could just flip. Let's flip. Let's flip it. Let's flip that question. We're getting rid of this one, are we? Yeah. But you would have gone for England. Okay. So it's gone. What was the answer? We get rid of 50 50. Are you not going to tell right? us? Uh, it's West Indies. See, that was lucky, wasn't that it? That was really lucky. <laughs> 
So luckily, I'm ruining my career. <laughs> That's why I sing. It was a short but busy That's year, wasn't it? That's right. Now, so that's gone, right? Okay. okay. So we got rid of that. West Indies, is, West Indies was the right answer. Gary Sobers was Sir Garfield Sobers. Um, okay. Right, so this is the, still the same situation. You've still got to phone a friend. This question, you could still go home with nothing at all. But it's worth a thousand pounds. It's question number five of possible 15. Here it comes. Which food is associated with the American phrase over easy? Now, have you ever heard of any of this? Yes. yes. Have you ever done food? Answer. Yes. Have you? <laughs> when you were groundsman. That was a very wise decision. Well, let's see what it is. Fried egg. Grilled tomato. Baked beans. Roast beef. Fried egg. Fried egg. Is the right <laughs> yeah! answer! You have £1,000. You still have one... Oh, you're not going to have a bit of a lie down. <laughs> you have £1,000. You still have one lifeline left. You still have phone a friend. Give me a big hand. £1,000 guaranteed. <laughs> oh. Somehow they got there. We'll take a break. Join us again in a couple of minutes. It could be extraordinary. Don't go away. Until